During this video, you will learn how to evaluate the performance of the decision maker. Imagine you ask two experts, expert 1 and expert 2, questions about the maximum temperature in Delft over the next 12 days. The experts are going to provide three quantiles, the 5%, 50% and 95% quantiles for 12 questions. We are going to wait 10 days and, based on the experts' answers, we are going to forecast the maximum temperature in Delft, along with the inherited uncertainty, for the next two days. We are going to apply the classical model for 10 calibration questions for seed variables and two questions of interest. You have learned how to do so. First, we compute the calibration score and the information score of the two experts. Multiplying the two scores gives the combined score of the two experts, and we can then compute the weights for the two experts, which is by dividing each combined score by the sum of the two combined scores. With the weights, we can combine the experts' distributions and obtain the distribution function of the decision maker. We saw in the previous video how to obtain the solution provided by the decision maker that is, how to obtain the decision maker's distributions for the questions of interest. We have now found the answers to the questions of interest by aggregating experts' assessments using the classical model. But in fact, we can apply the same procedure not only to the questions of interest, but also to the calibration questions. That is, we can obtain quantiles of the decision maker's distributions for the calibration questions which represent the assessments of the decision maker for the 10 calibration questions. Now, we can evaluate these assessments just like we evaluated the assessments of each expert. That is, we can compute the calibration score and the information score of the decision maker, and hence obtain the combined score of the decision maker. And we can now evaluate the overall performance of the decision maker. We can repeat this procedure for any decision maker, say, for example, the equal weight decision maker. In turn, the decision maker resulting from applying the classical model is going to be referred to as the performance based decision maker. Can we use the performance of the decision maker as a criterion for the expert selection? The answer is yes. And let's see how we can do it. For a pool with n experts, we can select either all n experts, or a subset of n minus 1 experts, for example, or a subset of n minus 2, and so on. We saw how the calibration score is driving the overall performance. Therefore, we will select the experts with the highest calibration scores in choosing subsets of experts. Recall the alpha parameter in the formal definition of the weights in the combined score and decision maker video at the beginning of this week. We can compute the combined score of the decision maker resulting from choosing different number of experts in the linear pool. You can see that when n is 1, the decision maker coincides with the best calibrated expert. Finally, we choose the combination of experts, which leads to the maximum overall performance. We have now an optimized procedure for expert selection. Thank you for your attention.